Picture this, Rome, 1511. A young artist named Raphael is creating what will become one of the most iconic paintings of the Renaissance. Our journey begins in the bustling heart of the Italian Renaissance, a period of unprecedented cultural and intellectual flowering. Raphael, a prodigious talent, is making his mark amidst this vibrant milieu. His life, as colourful and diverse as his art, is interwoven with the politics, the culture and the pulsating energy of Rome in the High Renaissance. This period is a cauldron of new ideas, a melting pot of innovative thought. Humanist philosophy, a cornerstone of the Renaissance, is thriving. It emphasises the value and agency of human beings and is a significant influence on Raphael's work. His masterpiece, The School of Athens, reflects this ethos. Raphael's creation, The School of Athens, is a testament to the spirit of this era, an era of rebirth, discovery and profound intellectual curiosity. Now imagine stepping into the grand halls of a majestic architectural marvel. This is the setting of The School of Athens. The vastness of the space is immediately striking. Raphael's brush has breathed life into grand arches that seem to stretch into infinity, creating a sense of depth that draws you in. The architectural elements are not merely decorative, they are integral to the scene, forming a visual symphony that sets the stage for the gathering of great minds. The grandeur of the architecture is not an end in itself, but a means to an end. It serves to emphasize the intellectual prowess of the figures who inhabit the painting and what a spectacle they present. The grand arches, the detailed friezes and the dome all contribute to creating a sense of awe and reverence for the subjects of the painting. Raphael's use of the perspective technique is a masterstroke. The vanishing point draws the viewer's eye towards the center of the painting, where Plato and Aristotle stand discussing philosophy. This technique not only creates a sense of depth, but also subtly guides the viewer's attention to the heart of the painting. The location of the painting, the Apostolic Palace in Vatican City, is significant. It is the epicenter of the Catholic Church and a symbol of the unity of knowledge and faith. Raphael's choice to set his painting here is a testament to his belief in the harmonious coexistence of science and religion. The beauty of the School of Athens lies not only in its grandeur, but also in its details. The intricate patterns of the floor, the ornate design of the friezes, the play of light and shadow. All these elements work together to create a sense of realism that invites the viewer into the scene. Raphael's masterful use of perspective and architectural elements not only provides a grand setting, but also creates a sense of depth and realism, inviting the viewer into the scene. This is more than a painting. It's a window into a world of intellectual pursuit and philosophical debate, a world that continues to inspire and intrigue us centuries after it was first imagined. As we venture deeper into the painting, we find ourselves in the midst of the greatest thinkers and scholars of antiquity. There at the center stand Plato and Aristotle engaged in deep discourse. Plato, with his finger pointed upwards, symbolizes his philosophy of ideal forms existing beyond our physical world. Aristotle, gesturing towards the earth, represents his belief in empirical knowledge derived from the senses. To the left, we see Pythagoras, the mathematician, engrossed in numerical notations, a testament to his belief in the mystical significance of numbers. And there in the foreground, we find Euclid, the father of geometry, demonstrating his theories, a nod to the precision and order in the universe. Each figure is meticulously placed, each gesture thoughtfully fashioned. Their postures and placements not only reveal their identities, but also their philosophical leanings. In this grand assembly of minds, Raphael has immortalized the intellectual spirit of the classical world. The School of Athens is more than just a painting. It's a portal into the past, a homage to human intellect and a testament to Raphael's genius. This breathtaking masterpiece stands as a beacon of the High Renaissance, embodying the flourishing of arts, philosophy and science during this golden age. It's not merely a depiction of a scene, but a thoughtful reflection on the ethos of an era that championed reason, discovery, and human potential. Raphael's intention? To immortalize the intellectual giants who shaped the course of human thought, from Plato and Aristotle to Euclid and Ptolemy. 
But beyond the faces and the grand architecture, the painting invites us to ponder on the power of ideas, the thrill of discovery, and the enduring beauty of knowledge. As we step back from the grand halls of the School of Athens, we carry with us a deeper appreciation for the power of art to capture the essence of an era, the grandeur of thought and the beauty of human potential.